Hi, I'm John Sherrill from Fifth Reformed Church in Grand Rapids, Michigan, here to present for Whiteboard Wednesday. There's been a lot of talk in our denomination, our small, small little part of the Christian world, about a discipleship pathway over the past few years, about the process we work people through from initially coming to faith to reproducing themselves spiritually. And there have been a lot of different concepts for that, but it dawned on me not long ago that Jesus might have already given us his discipleship pathway. So think with me in this. I'm welcome to your input. Think about Jesus' discipleship pathway. The four big imperatives that he gave us are repent, believe, wait, and go. Repent and believe in Mark 1.15, wait in Acts when Jesus was talking to his apostles before he ascended, and go, of course, in the Great Commission. But think with me about it for a second. So you've got repent. Often we think of that as the behavior that follows belief, but that's just our uh, Western understanding of this. Repentance really has to do with the inner change of thinking. That's what Jesus meant when he said, repent and believe the good news. Repent, change your thinking about what's going on in this world, who you are, who God is. That's the initial step. Then believe has to do with aligning our life. That's the outward uh, indication that there has been an inward change of thinking. Our worldview has changed. We believe the, the world and universe are centered on God, not on people. And then we align our life through active belief, not just believing something in our heads, but actually aligning our life to this change of thinking. Now the next two, wait, which Jesus said to his apostles before the ascension. And if you remember the text, he said, wait until you are filled with power from on high. So this has to do with spiritual empowerment, waiting until we're functioning in the power of the spirit before we go. And then finally, go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations. We know that text. So think with me about using these big four imperatives as a pathway. When a person comes, if they're new to faith, we initially talk about a change of worldview, that Jesus really is who he claimed to be, that he did what he said he came to do, and that the world and all of us in it belong to him. Change of thinking. Imagine a church that organizes themselves both corporately, kind of in an organized fashion, and uh, in a small group fashion, organically, around this so that we're teaching people to run people through these four things uh, in an organic setting and a full church organized setting. Change of thinking, belief, aligning your life. What are the barriers that are preventing you from living your life according to the change of thinking that you've had? Sometimes we have emotional barriers. The emotionally healthy discipleship stuff is helpful. Sometimes we have other barriers that are preventing us from aligning our lives. What's keeping us from living what we believe? And then finally, waiting. How can we seek God in in, uh, uh, being empowered spiritually, being filled by the Spirit? There are techniques to do that, right? And then the going. Uh, What do we need to actually go and make disciples of other people? Sharing the gospel, uh, reaching the world, reproducing ourselves spiritually. Uh, So that really is my quick thought for Whiteboard Wednesday, Jesus' discipleship pathway. Repent, believe, wait, and go. Thanks.